back and I'm going to be looking at restarting CERN. And I know this is old information from several days ago, but I still wanted to cover this for a couple reasons. So let's look at the scientists prepare CERN Collider. Yeah, after three years of long shutdown, we are all very, very uh, keen on, on getting the accelerator running again. Of course, this comes with a, s a certain sense of, of, of tension, nervousness. Uh, uh, is everything going well? And, and, and uh, will it all work as we, as we expect? And this will only be know in the end if the beam goes around. So that's a very, very exciting moment. look to the sky in the evening you see this five percent of what's out there and the other 95 percent you don't see and this is for us what we call the black matter and we hope to be able to discover hints of the existence and how to look for it also with the LHC so there you have it they restarted it the collider now I glanced over at another channel that's Joseph Aquaviva and he was saying exactly what I know to be true. Of course, we know who's behind all of this, right? It's the 666. You, you will know them by their fruit. It's easy for us to understand that, especially even with the logo of CERN. So I don't need to go any further than that. It's quite obvious, but it's good to see once again. And he goes deeper into that, so I, I'm just going to leave it at that and leave you the link. But as he said, you can't see well, he said 95%, but okay, I'll just say you can't see everything around you, but you know it's there, just like the wind. You can't see the wind, but you know it's there. And just like I know that God is with me, and there's angels around me, his hand is over me, protecting me. He has a plan and a path for me. I don't see God, but I know he is there, right? I hope you're on the same path with me. I really do. Because then you go into Bill Gates and he has a solving for zero. Take a quick look. Imagine a world where there is unlimited, clean, very cheap energy. The world will look extremely different from the world we have today. Oh, they make everything sound so good, don't they? But to me, that looks like another collider right there. I'm just saying, it looks just like what CERN is doing, but a very smaller scale, doesn't it? And CFS, yeah, it equals 28, but also 19. Look, I don't know a lot about this, but just listen for another second, and then we'll talk. Do this on Earth with magnets, and that's what we're building for our device. It's you know, kind of, we call it a sun in a bottle taking these giant magnets, causing these hydrogen atoms in plasma to fuse together. That produces our heat, which we then turn into electricity. I've been really motivated by solving hard problems and doing what people say can't be done. The thing that really drew me to Fusion is that I had spent my life living by Sally Ride's motto of reach for the stars, and here I am building a star on Earth. By Sally Ride's motto of reach for the stars, and reach for the stars and they're showing you ah yes the theater show you know i i just have to laugh and then they show this picture right here and you can see of course the soccer ball and many other things here but i'm looking at something on our desk cause, maybe because something i noticed recently also at a bus stop i don't know right there i'm thinking the square of saturn the cube you know and it really got me to thinking i, I I saw this at the bus stop. So the one on the right is at the bus stop, as you can see. And I found Saudi on it. Now I'm going to look into them probably tomorrow because of something I saw in there. But that's for another thing. But there as well, they're using the cube. You know, it reminds me of even the Brady Bunch because they were in a cube. Are you seeing it? it and all I can say is, man, they've been at this for a long time. They've been doing this. I mean, it's clear to me all the time how much I have been fooled from ever since I was a child. They love their colors, symbols, everything. They know what they're doing. 
and they're all a part of the same affiliation. I hope you realize lions, elk, you name it, they're all in there. And all I can say is over and over again is trust in Jesus. He will see us all through to the end if you look to him. Trust him in the storm. And this is a chaotic storm we're in, whether you realize it or not. And this battle cannot be won by man. All right, that's it for today. God bless you guys. More to come tomorrow. (laughs) Have a great day.